Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use transistor as a switch. As you know that transistor can be used in three different modes. One is in active region, one is saturation and one more is cutoff. When transistor is used as an amplification process then you fix or you bias the transistor so that the Q point will be in active region. And when you want to use it as a switch either it should be in a cutoff region or it should be in a saturation region. So when it is off, it will be in cutoff and when it is on, it will be in saturation. So let us simulate this transistor as a switch now using a multi-sim software tool. So for that, you have to go for place, component and in that under this, you are having something called as transistors group. In the transistor group, I will select a basic transistor that is BC547 transistor and I use BC547BP and I place it somewhere over here. Then I need to have a collector as well as base resistor. So for that I go for basic under the group. Then under that I'll go for resistors. And in that resistors I'll select a random value of resistor and I place it one across the collector and one across the base. Then I'll be having a source. I should have a source and in that power source I'll be having a DC power which I'll be placing near the base and one more it is at VCC the supply voltage for a transistor. I'll place it over here. Now uh, for example I'll take a load as a LED so for that I'll go for sources I mean sorry group under the group I'll go for diodes under diodes I am having something called as LED and under LED I will go for LED red and I will place it at the collector now next I have to place the ground I will go for sources then I place ground towards the emitter side now let us start connecting I am having a base resistor from the base resistor to the base of a NPN transistor and emitter is directly grounded then from the collector to the collector resistor and from the collector resistor to the load that is a LED what I am using now and then from there to the collector of a NPN transistor so now this becomes a complete circuit for illustrating transistor as a switch but along with this I need to have a switch because I have to see what is the behavior of the transistor when it is on or off. So for that again I go for place component then under that I have to go for basic. In basic I am having something called as switch and in this switch I will select the, for, uh, the SPST switch or a single pole single throw switch and I press ok I will place it somewhere over here close. Then I have to connect it to through the source. I'll place it over here. And I can see what is the on resistance, off resistance of the switch. Then I connect it through the switch. So I place it somewhere over here. Now key is equal to space in the sense if even if I am pressing space bar the switching of the key can be observed or by a single click also you can observe the switching of the key. Now the main question is how to design the value of the base resistor as well as a collector resistor because if you are seeing when I press uh, this run button and even if I am closing the switch or opening the switch the LED is not turning off which means that I have not designed the transistor as a switch properly. So whenever I am designing the switch, transistor as a switch, I have to take care of the values of collector resistor as well as base resistor. So now how do we design this is a question. So you can see by applying KVL across the collector, I can get the value of RC or R1 that is a collector resistor what I have placed over here. So now how to design, let us put KVL to this circuit. So let us start from VCC, it is VCC minus the current what is flowing through the transistor collector of the transistor let me say it as IC. So 
VCC minus IC RC and you have a forward voltage drop over here I have to consider that is a forward voltage drop of a diode then minus VCE the collector to emitter voltage is equal to 0 so that is a KVL so I will place a text over here and I will write the formula over here so your RC will be equal to VCC minus VCE that is a saturation voltage minus a forward voltage drop of a diode VD so the whole divided by IC divided by IC so when you are considering with this formula I know what is a VCC that is a supply voltage 5 volts what you are supplying now VCE is a collector to emitter voltage now this voltage is a voltage at which the transistor goes to saturation level so that is nothing but VCE sat and minus the forward voltage drop of a diode divided by collector current I do not know the value of this IC I do not know the value of VD and I do not know the value of VCE now how do you find out the value of these three parameters is by looking at the data sheet of the components so now I have downloaded the, the data sheet of the component over here I have downloaded the data sheet of PC547 and when I see over here you can see there is something called as VCE sat collector to emitter saturation voltage and for IC 10 milliamps IB is equal to 0.5 milliamps your voltage VCE sat should be less than 0.25 any voltage you can keep so normally uh, we keep it as around 0.1 volts so VCC is 5 5 minus 0.1 minus forward voltage drop of the diode the forward voltage drop of the diode will be normally between 1.5 or 1.8 to 3.3 volts so we can keep it at around 1.5 or 1.8 volts divided by IC so IC is nothing but the current through which the current which flows through the collector of a transistor now I cannot select the random value of the collector current I have to look at the data sheet of the LED because what is the maximum forward current which can flow through this LED is the main question so I have also downloaded the data sheet of the LED so for a red LED the maximum forward current is 20 milliamps so I have to uh, fix a current as around 10 milliamps it is not compulsory that I have to select 20 milliamps that is a maximum forward current so I can select 10 milliamps also so I double click this uh, LED and I keep the on current instead of 5 milli I keep it as 10 milliamps of current so now with these values that is VCC as 5 VCE as 0.1 VD that is a forward voltage drop that is 1.75 1.8 and IC as a 10 milliamps I have to get the value of RC so by substituting this values that is VCC as 5 and VCE saturation voltage as 0.1 and VF the forward voltage drop of a diode as 1.8 or VD as 1.8 and IC as 10 milliamps I get the value of resistor somewhere around 310 ohms so that is a value of RC what I am getting now I select the standard value of RC as around by double clicking I can change the value of the resistor so I select it at around 300 ohms so I will select the collector so I have already designed the value of RC now I have to design what is the value of RB so for that again the same procedure I have to put the KVL across the base and emitter so for finding out RC we have put across the collector and emitter now I have to put KVL across base and emitter so VB minus v, uh, IB RB minus VBE is equal to 0 so that is a KVL what I am applying so over here I will write the formula for this again so it is VB minus IB RB minus VBE is equal to 0 so that is a KVL what I am applying for across a base emitter junction so VB since I am applying VC, uh, VCC as 5 volts by double clicking I can change the voltage as a 5 volts across the base also so VB is 5 volts and I do not know the value of IB RB I don't know 
and VBE is since you know that the transistor is back to back connected diodes so the voltage drop across VBE is the voltage drop of the diode that is 0.7 what we take now uh, there are two unknowns over here IB and RB so first I will find out what is IB and based on that I can find out the value of RB as you know that the DC current gain of the transistor is HFP which will be mentioned in the data sheet or it is what we call it as beta beta is nothing but equal to IC divided by IB so I will place a again a formula beta is equal to it's a DC gain that is IC divided by IB uh, we have already fixed that IC is equal to 10 milliamps now beta value we can get it from the transistor data sheet now when I see the transistor data sheet over here BC547 I can see what is a HFP value the HFP value for varies from different transistors so for A series over here I can see that the DC current gain HFV is 200 so normally it varies between 200 to 450 for a BC547 transistor we take a minimum value of the beta so that the current uh, um, uh, the transistor enters into saturation after that the beta doesn't have any effect on the transistor so I have BC beta is equal to IC divided by IB so IC is 10 milliamps IC is equal to 10 milliamps then beta value is equal to 200 now uh, with, by substituting this value IB I am going to get 50 micro or 50 U so that is the value of the current what I am going to get that is 50 micro once I get a 50 micro we have to substitute in this equation that is VB minus IB RB minus VB is equal to 0 and from there I can get the value of RB so by substituting this we get the value of RB as equal to 86 kilo ohms kilo ohms so now here I can change the value of base resistor as 86 kilo ohms so this is how you fix the value of RB as well as RC now let us keep an emitter across the collector as well as the base and let us see the, whether the calculations what we have made is correct or wrong so let us keep a multimeter across the collector and a multimeter across the base so instead of connecting through switch now I will connect it through ammeter across the base as well as I will connect it across the collector now I have to double click it once I double click it I have to keep it in the click on A that is which measures the current and XMM1 is the one which is giving me the collector current again I keep it in A so once it is done so let us start simulating this circuit run when I press run when I switch on when I press the switch your LED is on see the current what is the current it is 10.292 milliamps our designed value is 310 ohm for which the IC is 10 milliamps current flowing is 10.292 milliamps and for the transistor to enter into saturation IV is equal to 50 microamps see the current what is flowing that is 49.9 which is almost equal to 50 microamps when I open the switch LED is off which means that the transistor is also off which means there is no path for the current to flow through LED when I switch on the current start the transistor is on the switch is closed the current flows from VCC R1 and, uh, and LED or a diode through the transistor to the ground when I open the switch the base is almost equal to zero and there is no collector current also which is in the order of microamps so this is how I can use a transistor as a switch normally we can find the applications in uh, uh, where I have to control the switching of LED using a controller when I am using it as a, when I am uh, you know, uh, switching with this LED using a controller the output of the controller is in the order of microamps so it is not uh, driving the LED 
So what we can do is that the output of the controller you can connect it through a transistor and from there you can drive the LED. Apart from LED, I can also connect a relay through which I can control the rotation of the motor or else I can switch the motor also or else I can also connect directly a DC motor towards the collector but we have to keep in mind that we have to design for the current flow the proper current flow of uh, through the DC motor so with that rating I can design the transistor as a switch thank you for watching this video if you like the video please click on like button and subscribe my channel thank you